Asylums in Destiny 2 have always been a weird weapon when it comes down to meta, as they aren't overpowered enough to be used in most endgame content, but they're also not that weak in terms of being used for quickly taking out targets in a small time frame. They are weird, but fun, and some sidearms available in game comes with some crazy perks. Indebted Kindness is one of those weird but very interesting weapons that we have never seen until now. So today's video will go over what makes weapons so good as an investment and what role you should overall look for. Indebted Kindness is a 100 RPM based weapon that comes with some unique stats and perks worth investing in and is also on a brand new frame type allowing users to fire a miniature rocket instead of the standard energy or kinetic rounds. As this is the first of its kind, it's quite near impossible to compare this to other sidearms in the game since the weapon is more of a mini rocket launcher than a sidearm. So as a mini rocket launcher, you'll have to take in mind how you want the weapon to fully operate as improving blast radius means that you can nab more new kills more often, while improving velocity will allow your weapon to hit its targets much faster, etc. I would say this is the only feasible way to compare this weapon to something similar in game. Now, there is a warning to using this weapon, and that it has a major kick to it when being fired, so this will throw your shots off very badly if you don't pace your shots accurately. When being used in PvP, it offers the ability to two shot players if you land a crit and a body shot. However, the track on the weapon makes it very hard to land your shots against the more mobile players, and with the weapon's recoil pattern and kick added to the mix, it does make landing your shots a lot harder to be achieved in most 1v1 fights. Even with beacon rounds and impulse amplifier, the risk reward factor of using the weapon is not good enough to warrant its high usage in PvP, unless you're using this for a cleanup weapon. The PvE is a bit different, as the weapon hits hard and feels more comfortable when the environment is in. Even without good perks, the weapon does surprisingly well with what has been given, and since anti barrier rounds for a sidearm is a thing for this season, you'll see this weapon become very common with how hard hitting and destructive it can be against certain types of enemies. I can personally see Vault Shot, Surrounded and Adagio being the main go-to perks of doing really spicy numbers on a number of targets. So in terms of looking for a god roll for the weapon, you're in luck with how simple the perk pool for the weapon is. For the PvP and PvE roll for the first and second perk slot, you're going to want to have the following. You want hard launch or quick launch to help bolster the weapon's velocity and help with its consistency in landing shots. Smart Drift and the Near Compensator also works fine for a general all-rounder pick. A second slot, you'll want to have high velocity rounds for a quicker reload and even more velocity, or the Tactical Mag perk which will help increase your current ammo and give some more reload speed. The first off of PvP, I can see Beacon Rounds and Impulse Amplifier being the most sought after perks. Beacon Rounds will help with making your shots even more accurate while on target, and this alone can help with chasing or finishing players off who run from engagements. Impulse Amplifier will drastically increase velocity and reload speed and make the weapon a near instant hit scan when being applied. This is ideal and great for anything explosive based as you want your shots to land fast and consistently so that the enemy player never gets a chance to fight back. A PvE recommendation is pretty much the same although adding loose change to the mix can show promise if you pair this with Vault Shot and stay amplified as well. The last thought we have Vault Shot for PvE and PvP. The reload speed even without boost is not a nightmare for us and it's relatively easy to get quickly through the perk and activate it in a moment's notice. Adagio and Surrounded also look fine, but for Surrounded you're most likely not going to be in that situation for where the weapon will need to be using this perk as it's more designed for mid-range. Adagio makes the weapon fire slower, while also giving you a damage boost, and honestly it can work very well in PvE as well, but PvP is just a no-go. So overall, the new sidearm is lackluster when it comes down to perk selection, as in you are limited to about 2 or 3 perks to use. However, we are lucky enough that the perks are viable enough to make the weapon feel good and purposeful to use. Indebted Kindness is more of a PvE weapon with how it operates compared to a PvP weapon, and although I wouldn't recommend it for PvP, it can work under a really good player who knows how to operate the weapon's weaknesses. It's a first of its kind, I do look forward to seeing more of it in action, as it's both interesting and fun to use in PvE, while also being very hard hitting enough for ending content in the near future. So there we have it, 
I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content to share, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.